Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we continue the journey in learning MKER. Before I continue, I would like to uh, remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, we are inside the AUM, so let's click first to create a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. Then we select as an audio source just a simple grand piano AUV3 version 2. Now, let's instantiate, the, instantiate MKR as a, a MIDI processor, like so. And now, let's have a look you, at the connectivity. As you can see, you have eight output ports. So, I'm going to select the first one for the purpose of this very first video, but you can select through other seven as well, in total eight output ports. So, let's open up uh, MKR. It uh, looks like that, really nice. Now, um, on the top left here, you can see where it says MKR, it gives you also the version, etc. and a low. Click on it, and then it says Project, right? So now let's click on the uh, pattern here where it says 1. You can see that this description here changes. It says Play in Pattern Mode, because we are in Pattern Mode. You can click on Clip, and it will play, it will change on Clip. You can click on Range, it will say Clip. Um, play in range mode. Let's select it to pattern mode. Then it says uh, a clip uh, um, number one here. Let's go in play in uh, clip mode. Let's go, for example, to the sequencer and let's click on the plus sign here. Let's move to the second one and you will see it will say clip number two and step number one. Okay, let's go back to the home here, a screen. Now it says pattern A01, which means bank A, which is down here. So if you click on B, it will say pattern B01, back to A. And then, of course, it says 01 because it's the first pattern. If you click on the second one, it says 02, and then 03, etc., etc. So let's go back to the first one. Now, let's click on the on where it says 1 here. It says lane 01. Let's click where it says 2. It says lane 02. Two. and so on and so forth. I will come back also to this final step in another tutorial. Now, you can select these different lanes like so, right? Let's stick now to the number one. We are on pattern one and bank A. There are a number of steps, as you can see there. The number of steps can be defined. Click on Edit here, and then you can define the, um, the length here uh, in terms of step as well. Right, so you could, um, for example, increase it like so, and you can see here it is increasing on the top right to 19, but let's put it back to 16. Now, back to the home screen. How do you enter note? Well, just click like so, it says C4, click again, C4, click again, C4, click again, C4. Now, back here, play, click play on the transport control, and it will play that pattern. Right now, let's continue with learning about the editing. Click on C4 again, click again, and you remove that uh, note on that particular step, step number one. So, click again. There it says C4. Click and hold and move up, and you will uh, transpose up by one semitone, C sharp four again, D4, and so on and so forth. So, you can transpose each individual a step up or actually down as well as you prefer. Now, if you click and hold and you drag, you can create also tie note. So it will play this note for two steps. So let's try. Again, click here and click there and click again to remove them. Click again to reinsert the note. Now, if I select the entire lane and uh, where it says one, click and hold, move up. I can move up all the different steps, which is really nice feature. I really uh, love this one. Now, let's go to pattern number two, like so, and let's, uh, again, create something else, very simple, just to go through the basic concept, uh, something like, um, like so. So let's click play. Oops, and let's go to play pattern mode, because I was in play mode clip. That is why it actually moved back to the first one, because on the sequence, that is what I had to find. Uh, I was in clip mode here. So let's go back to home, and let's ensure that we are in pattern mode, and let's click uh, back, uh, second pattern, let's click play. As you can see, I can move from one pattern to the other as it is playing as well, which is very nice. Now, there is also a concept here, which you can enable or disable 
different lanes or group of lanes. And that is very handy. So let me show you um, why. So we are on the second button. So we know that uh, group B will disable lane 5 to 8, right? So let's go to lane 5 and insert um, maybe, actually, let's keep it simple, something like that. Um, and then transpose it up to, for example, E. And let's click play. Now I can disable, for example, that group of lanes clicking on B. And I can do that in real time as well, which is really nice. And as I mentioned a moment ago, of course, you can change also pattern in real time. One thing about changing a uh, pattern as I'm playing, pay attention when I change a pattern in the middle of uh, the pattern and see what happens. As you can see, it changes on the next bit. When I press, for example, if you are at this point on playing the different step on the pattern and you click here to go to another pattern, it will change on the next bit. If you don't like that way of uh, changing pattern, you can go where it says uh, a sequencer here. Here at the top it says bit, you can change to pattern, okay? And when you change the pattern, you will find it will change now at the end of the pattern. So let's try. So that is a different behavior and you might want to pray or you might prefer to actually have it to change by patterns instead of uh, uh, changing it by, by bit. So a um, different way to actually um, change the um, pattern mode. Now let me show you also something else. Um, let's go to pattern number two. And uh, here at the bottom left, it says pattern PTTN, click on it. Sorry, once, and then it says uh, lane 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A. So if I click 1A, I disable that lane. If I click 2A, I disable the second one. If I click, uh, and so on and so forth, right? Which um, which is really nice. And then, of course, if I click on lane again, I go back to the pattern, and then I can go back to the different lanes. Okay, and that's a nice way to actually uh, disable specific lanes instead of uh, a group of lanes like... Uh, through these uh, different options. And of course you can do that as you're playing. Okay, I'm going to stop here for these tutorials on editing uh, steps and a bit of content on lanes, patterns, groups, uh, uh, banks, uh, and transposing up and down uh, steps. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.